congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Now, oh my gosh. Is that a little overwhelming? You seemed a little overwhelmed. A absolutely. It's just, it, it's, it's completely overwhelming. I'm just trying to take it in and soak it in, but Enjoy it's going to take a while. Yeah, absolutely. Every ounce of it. Oh my gosh. Okay. When you came in, you know, and didn't know who, did you, what did you think? Did you think you were going to take it? You know, ever since we returned home, you know, and we, we know at least who's in that final three. I'm just one of those people, you know, you don't, you don't count your chickens before they're hatched. And so I'm just not, I mean, you can hope and you can, you know, you can start counting jury votes or think you're counting them. But until you see those names come out, it's just not real. And so, no, I, I wasn't banking on it. I wasn't, I mean, I was hoping, but it's, it was just surreal. I was just overwhelmed. I mean, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, what are you gonna do with that money? I, you know, we're we're gonna we're gonna take some deep breaths first, and and make a few appointments, and do some planning. We're we're pretty planful, so it, probably nothing very crazy. Um, I've got a nine-year-old daughter who needs to go to college, so you know, there's a, there's a, a college fund in the future to finish off, and you know, just some decisions to make with my husband and I, and. I don't know where we'll go from there. So, but in Iowa, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. As a therapist, did you have an advantage? You think? I absolutely. I 100%. I, I think that helps in the game. You know, because I I, I know I, I have just and part of it's just I think again who I am. Not necessarily my training as a therapist, but just that slowing down and listening to people and paying attention and building relationships. I mean, that's what I do. I build relationships every day in my office. I mean, with new clients that come in and clients I've worked with for years. I mean, so that's what I do. Yeah, you were so skinny. I mean, you still are, I, but you... I was scrawny, like nasty scrawny. So how much did you lose? I, you know, I did not lose a massive amount, but I lost muscle. I, I didn't have a great deal to lose starting. And so, I mean, I lost, you know, under 10 pounds, you know, six pounds, I think. But it just, you're just emaciated. I mean, so all the striations, I mean, there's the part of me going, oh, I wish I looked like that. And then I'm like, oh, I don't like the survivor diet. So mama likes to eat. I like my candy. I like my real food. So yeah, no, it, it takes a toll on your body. You know, I've seen plenty of tribal councils, but you know, I love this game. And to go out and try it again, absolutely. Not a doubt. First of all, congratulations on the fan favor. How much Thank that you. Mean? That means so much. As a matter of fact, I referenced the, the author of the book, The Barbarian Way. When I met with him later, he said, Lisa, for you, winning the audience will be more important in the long run than winning the million dollars. And so I'm very grateful. Now, what do you, okay, since you've been back, and obviously you couldn't tell what was going on, but what do your kids think of you now watching these episodes? My kids are so proud of me. As a matter of fact, some of the people, you know, the castaway said, your children were so proud of you on the front row. It was just so obvious. Now, what do you, do you think the right person won? Absolutely. I'm so thrilled Denise won. I would have preferred to win, but if it's not me, I would have been, uh, my preference would be Denise for Scooby. Now, what have you learned about yourself? I mean, I know that's a heavy question, but what have you learned about yourself through this experience? I've learned I really put a lot of stock in wanting people to like me and not judge me, but that'll drive you batty. And that if I can accept myself, and I know God already accepted me, then it really didn't matter what everybody else felt. Would you ever do this again? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of like childbirth. You may need to give me a few more. <laughs> months to recover before you ask. How are you feeling and what is that? Did you get that over there? I didn't. I actually got it in Dallas. Can you believe it? You know, I was, I had a million bug bites from the Philippines. I had two mosquito bites in Dallas and apparently one of them was tainted. With, okay, tell me, because I'm not on camera, okay. West Nile virus. Yes, and so I was just really exhausted, sleeping 10 hours a night and tired by 6 o'clock. I went to the doctor, I said, run whatever blood test you have, I, something's not right. And so it came back West Nile. You know, it's kind of like a virus, like mono even, you know, you just have to let it work out your system. And there's tiredness, and I mean, it can be worse, but for me, it'll just take some working it out of my system. I guess in the scope of the game, the right person always wins because the jury votes. Your actions decide how it goes. There's so much more to this game than I had first envisioned. There's the 18 players that are out there, then there's the production people doing these side interviews that people learn so much about themselves during that, and then there's Jeff Probst during Tribal Council. So there's three very big elements of the game, and you have to learn how to manipulate all of that together. The one element that you can't control that I still haven't figured out is back at Ponderosa, where somebody feels the sting of being blindsided, and they go back 
And it was actually said to me, if you vote me off tonight, I'm going to go back to Ponderosa. I will poison the jury. I will lie. I will tell them about what you said about their children, and I will make sure you never get a vote. And you have to weigh that out with game. And everything matters, who you sleep next to and who you eat next to and who, get, who, you, who you get water from and how you walk, the order which you walk to challenges. Everything makes a difference and people underestimate that. There isn't any margin for error, especially when it gets down to the final game. The perception after watching is that you are very accident prone. <laughs> is that an accurate, I mean, or is that editing or what do you think? Well, everything they showed happening to me really happened. When the fire exploded, I, for some reason, was standing next to it. When someone got headbutted by a whale shark, I was the only one 25 feet down at that moment, so I, was, I put myself in that position for some reason. Um, I, I, there was a quote on the show that said, act first, think second. And it's the way I approach, I go 100 miles an hour the whole time. I'm so competitive. I still compete in sports three days a week. So I'm, it's my, it's my nature to go hard. I underestimated the fact that you can't clean a wound out there. And the infection in my shoulder got so bad, it became potentially game threatening. And the slice in my foot, you know, could have potentially affected me during challenges. I mean, it was such a, uh, I had to re readjust how brazen I went through this game because you can't keep a cut clean. Things don't heal out there. The humidity is so high and the dirt just keeps getting in it. I went out there, I knew who I was. It wasn't like an emotional roller coaster like it was for Lisa. I was just myself the entire time. I knew that I was there to do a job. I just came up a day short. Would you do this again? And because I'm so damn competitive to come this close and like to be uh, so I, quit, I don't like having to say bitter, but that's absolutely what it is. I lost. Like, it's not at the people, it's about the game. Like that. I was this close and lost. I'm a huge fan of the show. There's no way I don't think I could turn it down if I uh, was offered to do it again.